Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of Skyblock on the AZMC server. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode we built ourselves this awesome little sheep area. We've got ourselves a sheep herder's house. Actually this is the cow, chicken, and sheep herder's house right there. We don't have any pigs so he's not a pig herder. Uh, but he's everything else. This guy herds everything. And we've got a sheep of every color so we are kicking butt. And you know what? We're going to need those colors for a couple things we're going to do in this episode. I'm quite excited about it. So the first thing we're going to do right now, slash C, let's take a look at these challenges. Pearl Collector and Expert Builder are the ones I've got left to do on hard mode. And after that, we're moving on to Master. So we are really moving along quite good. And you know what? Slash C Pearl Collector requires us to have... Did I have enough here? 15 Ender Pearls. And guess what? I've got myself 20. I killed a few Endermen, but a lot of the stuff came from trading. That's the awesome thing about being on the server. There's an economy, and I'm able to supply what I need to people, and people are able to supply me what I need, and I needed Ender Pearls. I didn't want to wait around for Endermen. And guess what? We've got ourselves enough Ender Pearls to do slash C, C, Pearl Collector, and that is going to get us. Boom! Five gold ingots, one blaze rod, $50, and 100 experience. Sweet! So we are kicking butt. We are kicking butt. And you know what? I'm really excited about that because that also means, slash C, we have moved on to the master. The master. And that is really, really awesome. We're going to take a look at these in a minute. I've only got myself expert builder. Expert Builder, uh, Wool Collector, Maestro, Emerald Collector, and Top Chef left to do. And Skylord. <laughs> Don't forget Skylord. And after that, guys, that is going to be the end of this series. And you know what? I'm pretty sure. I am pretty darn sure. I'm going to be able to do a bunch of these right now. Wool Collector, Maestro. I'll probably be able to do those right now. Top Chef. Let's see what that is. Slash. Let's see. See. Let's first of all see wool. I'm pretty sure I can do this right now because I've actually already got myself a bunch of wool. Wool collector. What is it? Boop. It says I'm going to get two diamonds, five emeralds, three music discs. Pfft, I got all my music discs. One sheep and one sheep spawn egg. I don't need that. I got my sheep. Really? You have to get wool collector to get a sheep spawn egg? That's kind of weird. That's kind of... Oh, no. You can do it with spider eggs. Anyway, what does it require? It requires collect five of every color wool. I could do that this very, very second if I wanted to. We're not going to because I actually need my wool for a little something, but we're going to probably do it at the end of this episode, maybe. Who knows? Slash C. What's the other one? Uh, what else do we have in here? Slash C. Maestro? I am pretty sure I can do this because I'm sure that is collecting music discs. And I got myself some music discs already. Uh, you lose all required items... Craft a jukebox. Oh, you have to craft a jukebox. Collect the music discs. That's too bad. You have to collect. Oh, you have to craft it because you lose it. Collect all the music discs. I have all the music discs times three. So boom, we can do that right now, and it's going to cost us one dime, but we can do that. So that's two more we have done right there. Uh, slash C. Let's see what Top Chef is. Top Chef. Boom. One of every kind of cooked or crafted edible food, no raw food, zombie flesh, zombie flesh, or super golden apples. So we're going to need a golden apple. Poop. We're going to need one of every kind of food. Oh, no. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a pig. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Oh, maybe I can get a, from a pigman. Anyway, guys, we can probably do that right away, right away too. You know what? We are almost done. This is going to be the hard one. Slash C. C uh, Sky Lord. Sky Lord is get an island level of 1000. You will gain one diamond and gain the title of Sky Lord. Sweet! That's pretty far off because look at this. Slash is land level. We are only at 177. I have to get five times bigger, even more, like six times bigger in order to be able to call myself a Sky Lord. Got a long way to go. Got a long way to do. But you know what, guys? We're going to do that. But in this episode, there's something I want to do. Something that I want to do in this episode right now. And I want to show you what I've got over here. Let me go over here and show you. ba -doo! Hello, dude. We got this dude right here. And that is what we're going to be doing this episode. We're going to be building ourselves a marketplace. And it's going to be an iron farm. So, guys, let me go collect some resources. Once I come back, I'm going to show you exactly where it's going and exactly what we'll be doing. Okay, everyone? I will talk to you guys all extremely soon.
Okay, everyone, I've kind of got this planned out. It didn't exactly work out the way I would have liked it to, but this is what I've got. In fact, I haven't even checked this side out yet. Uh, so maybe we're going to do that right now. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do is I want to kind of set up a combination iron farm and market in here. And when I say market, I mean this is going to be my on-server store. So basically, I want to set up a whole bunch of different stalls in here, and each stall is going to contain, well, I'm not going to trap any of them in, I don't think, but it's going to have uh, the ability for someone to work in there. Like, it's going to have doors. It's going to be like a little house kind of thing for the villagers to be able to spawn in. And each one of these is going to have a double door in the back, so it's going to be a whole bunch of them. Let's see how many it's going to be on this side. I'm going to have them three apart, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three and then one two three and then one two three it kind of works out if i don't put a wall in this guy's place maybe not i'm not sure what i'm going to put in here anyway this is kind of what i want to do now let me show you what one of these houses is going to be i'm going to go up uh one two three i'm just going to go up three like that and one two three like this in fact these are probably, might go a little bit higher but we'll worry about that later on now in front of each stall i'm going to put my i'm going to put a boom boom a chest just like that and in the back of each stall there's going to be two doors just like this in fact i might reverse them but who knows we'll see in a second like that and that's going to be the basic little house now each house let me see i'm going to use an expensive throw it away an expensive brick why do i only have one okay good here's 64. <laughs> Each one of these is going to have a wall that goes like this, and we're going to have a wall that goes across like that. And I think up like that, and then we're going to toss a couple of stairs in here to make sure these guys aren't going to be jumping out the front. Uh, kind of like this. Kind of like that. Now what I'd like to do is I want each stall to be color-coded. So I'm going to put this here, and we're going to start off with orange. We're going to start off with orange. So each one is going to be color coded. So basically, what I want to do, let's actually send these up right now. I can go up maybe one, two, one, two, just like that. So each of these, I'm going to have white, white. This is going to be orange back here. So I don't, yeah, I brought exactly enough orange actually. One there like that. Orange, orange. Oh no, I'm too short. I have to get two more orange. I got to shave another, another dude. That's okay. This is going to come out like this. And then what I want to do is on each of these posts, I'm going to put like this. And I think across one. How does that look? And then what I want to do is I want to hang down. I want to hang this thing down. I'll tell you why in a second. I want to hang it down like that. So each of these is going to have a hang down like that. It's going to be orange across here. So I need one, two, three, four more oranges. And we're going to put across the front right here, orange carpet, looking really nice. Where did I just put that orange carpet? Some random location. Orange carpet right across here, nine, bang, and bang. And basically, in each one of these, there's going to be a little villager living in here. Uh, you know what? He's going to need a torch in here. So let's put a... Let's put a torch right there. There's going to be a little villager living in each one of these things here, and people are going to be able to come up, and they're going to be able to use these chests are going to be my online store. So you're going to be able to come up here, click on this, and buy whatever's in the chest. And that's my big plan. I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 12 uh, 14, 16, 18, and then 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> so for every three, I'm going to get be able to get one new villager, and there's going to be at least, that's going to be at least 30 over there, plus this. Uh, there's going to be at least 60 plus stalls, 60 plus doors in here, so we should be getting at least 30 villagers. You need a, no, sorry, at least 20 villagers, and I think you need 20 villagers in order to generate iron golems. If not, we'll have to add a second layer on each floor. <laughs> I know I could have done a much more efficient job. I know I could have built this as a, a really efficient uh, iron farm. But you know what? I didn't want to. I didn't want it to look ugly. I really want it to look, you know, nice as well. Um, I'm going to have to extend this out a little tiny bit out the back to allow the villagers to meet and greet kind of thing. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to have villager babies. So we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to actually have a doorway for me to get in there too to make sure that I can save the villagers from zombies when the zombies show up because the zombies will, of course, show up. They can't break down doors, so we should be fine, but whatever. 
Anyway, guys, I am going to build a bunch of these, and I'm going to come back when this is all finished. All right, everyone? I will talk to you all very soon. Okay, everyone, this took a heck of a long time, but it is completed. It is completed. Now, this is what the market is going to look like. I'm going to change each one of these chests into selling something, uh, kind of like the on-server store. And I'm just going to figure out how to do that and then set it all up. Right here in the middle, we've got ourselves our basic iron farm. And the way I've got this set up, uh, they shouldn't be able to spawn. The, the iron golem shouldn't be able to spawn except for inside of this area here. Yes, I know. I, I, see up on top, I, I actually limited everything. Like, I limited anywhere. Oh, no, right here I didn't. <laughs> they could actually spawn right here. So we're we'll have to change this a little bit. We're we'll have to change this down. Uh, anywhere where there's a, a section of an area of four, you know what? There's a couple of them because this one too. Oh my god, I'll have to change all these. Anywhere there's a section of four, the iron golems could technically spawn. They could theoretically spawn in any area where we've got ourselves a four by like a two by two area. So they could actually spawn right here. They shouldn't be able to spawn in any of these areas here because it's, it's not high enough. They're three tall. So that should be good. On top, the same thing. I've got myself half slabs up there to prevent anything from spawning up there. So that should be fine. But it looks like... Could they theoretically spawn inside of these? I don't know. You know what? All I'm going to have to do is populate this whole area now and figure it out. But anyway, it's all color-coded. I've used up a ton of wool, and I've increased my island level by quite a bit. Slash is land level. I'm now at 226, so we're only 25 away, which is a heck of a lot away from uh, actually completing the first of those two challenges, the Expert Builder. And I really want to do that. Underneath here, let's go take a look. Underneath right now, I actually don't have any iron, so right now what we're doing, we'll be collecting this stuff by hand. So every time one of the golems die, uh, he'll end up down here, and I'll be able to collect all of his iron and his flowers, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, there's one last thing I want to do, and that is get myself a second villager and start populating this area, because after that, it's just about being AFK. Go AFK, and this area should repopulate very quickly. I think... I think. So guys, here's what we're going to do. I am going to get myself another villager. We got one villager over here. I'm basically going to build a little tiny thing that's going to separate the zombies. I think what I'm going to do is move my villager right over to here. And I think the zombies will track over to try and get him. I think they will. And then I'll be able to explore and say, hey, what kind of zombie is that? And I'll be able to uh, isolate the zombies and then grab up the next villager that comes about. I've got myself, let me see, it's right here. I've got myself a golden apple and the splash potion, so I'm all ready for it. So guys, I will be back once I've got myself another zombie villager. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, guys, we got ourselves another zombie villager right there, and we have cured him, I hope. It's going to take a few minutes, and after that, we're going to ship everybody out. Basically, all I did is I took this guy here put him here so all of the zombies moved along this path right here leaving all the skeletons and the creepers back here i killed off the skeletons and creepers and i checked out each zombie and found one i liked and boom we got ourselves a bunch now we're gonna have these two guys that's all the gold i have well you know what i might have enough for one more apple that's the gold we have though i'm gonna have to move these guys up and into that area over there so they start breeding that's the big plan i've got myself a little pathway here i'm just gonna push them along and then they're gonna head up there and that's where they're gonna start breeding all right guys there's one last thing i actually want to do in this episode i'm not gonna make you guys wait and watch me breed them because that's gonna take forever and ever let's go over here and see if we have enough if we do what we're gonna do i think we're going to I think we're going to grab ourselves one more of the achievements, and that achievement is going to be Wool Collector. I think I need this guy. This guy right here. Come on, separate, separate, sheep. Separate! Move it! Move it, sheep! You, you. Okay, I think that's all I needed. Let's go over here and take a look. Get up and over. Boom! Five. You need five of each kind of wool, and I'm pretty sure I've got it. Let's just get this stuff out of here for the time being and make sure so boom 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 i think that's all of them all right slash c and it was called wool collector slash c uh wool collector and it requires uh what does it say five of every color wool i'm pretty sure i got that slash c c wool oops Wool collector 
collector. Bam. There we go. Two diamonds, five emeralds, three music discs, bah, and a sheep spawn egg. $200 and 200 experience. That is exactly what I want. Let's get rid of this stuff again. Bam, bam. I don't even care about those music discs. I've got it. I only got two diamonds. I've got two diamonds. They said three diamonds. That's two diamonds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That just bothers me. All right, let's go over here. We're going to take one last look, guys. We're going to go to the very, very top of our thing over here, and I want you guys to see... He's still switching over there. I want you guys to see exactly how this thing looks all the way up here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way up. Let's take a look. And you guys are going to see how nice and bright and colorful this thing is. Look at that. Look at that. Let's take a look at my whole island. Shut up, spider. Shut up. I don't want to have to kill you, but I'm going to. Actually, I do want to kill you. Okay, I got it. That is my island right there. That is my that is my market. I'm going to be switching that over to an on, not an online, to an on server store. I'm kind of looking forward to that. That means I'm going to have people to my island. They're going to take a look at it. I haven't had anybody here yet. And I'm really kind of looking forward to showing this off. So guys, this is what it looks like. It's getting pretty darn big. It is not even close to what it needs to be in order for me to be able to uh, even get the, the uh, expert builder. I'm, I'm not even an expert builder yet. I'm going to have to do a lot of building offline, I think. I think... I don't know. I'm going to build some stuff offline and come back and show it to you guys later because I don't know. It's going to be almost impossible to get to 1,000. It seriously is. I don't know how people did it. There's there's one or two people that have gotten that achievement. Ah, I fell while I've been on the servers, and that's kind of cool. That's kind of crazy because I have no idea how they got it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly. Oh, look at that. I got my guy. Hello. Hello, kind sir. All right, sweet. Guys, if you enjoyed the episode, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. If you are playing on AZMC, then please, why don't you guys put your stuff up on the, uh, put images up on my uh, videos. I love to see what you guys are doing. It really, really excites me to be able to see that kind of stuff. I love it. So guys, do that if you're up there, all right? Comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.